Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you how to blow up on TikTok. If you're new here, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and you can even click the notification bell if you want to get a notification every time I post. If you aren't new here and you're returning, welcome back and let's get going. I'm going to be giving you six steps you can do to blow up on TikTok. I've had TikTok for nearly a year now and to be honest I didn't blow up last year. I wasn't really trying. I made videos for fun and it wasn't because I wanted to blow up on TikTok. This year I made it my mission to blow up on TikTok and get a bigger following so I could reach more people. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. I decided to research it and I have come up with the plan blow up on tiktok and it works because i've done it at the beginning of the year i had 7,000 followers tiktok last year that blew up randomly and that's how many followers i got from it now i have 72 or 73,000. i'm not sure this happened in one week one week is that true it's very true and there were a few things that i've done that have made me blow up first tip i'm gonna say is find your niche It sounds pretty obvious but if you're posting just lip syncing videos random videos and whatever the chance of you blowing up are a lot smaller than if you have a niche you could still blow up i'm not saying that but your chances are just a lot smaller if your niche is dancing do dance videos if your niche is comedy do comedy videos and so forth my niche is self-love and body acceptance so those are the videos that i do because i want my following to stay with me and watch the content that they liked when they followed me at the beginning, if that makes sense. If you have a random video that blows up and it's not to do with your niche, the chances of those people staying around and keeping following you are very small. At the beginning, I had a random video that blew up and it was completely random. It had nothing to do with body acceptance and self-love. And I got a load of followers from it, but then they all unfollowed me when they saw my self-love stuff because they were like, this isn't what i followed this person for i thought she was funny which i am but you know uh... i would recommend posting only your niche obviously you can post other stuff or do what a lot of other people do and create a spam account where you post whatever you want but then you have your main account for your comedy videos or your self-love videos or your whatever dance videos so find your niche people will stick around continue to follow you because you're posting about that soul thing my second one is content <laughs> Obviously, you are not going to blow up if your content is not amazing. Some videos on TikTok which blow up massively just randomly and they're awful, but the chances of that happening for you is very slim. There are so many people on this app now and although you can grow organically, you need to try a bit harder than you did right at the beginning. And that's a fact. So your content needs to be short. The shorter, the better, because people have a short attention span. The shorter your content, the more it will get watched. It's as simple as that. I would say around eight seconds is when the viral video is. Second one is good lighting. Sounds bad, but if there's good lighting, a good quality video, people are more likely to watch it. If I see a bad quality video with pixelated and stuff, I go straight past it. And another thing is storytelling. This is where my videos have gone most viral. I hook them at the beginning, then I create the middle bit, and then there's the ending. This is a great way because people are like, oh, what happens next? Ooh. And they'll continue watching it. And as your watch time goes up, it tells the algorithm that people are watching this video. It's good stuff and it will boost your video. So storytelling is a great way to go viral. It really is. Get them hooked. They want to know more. A lot of the videos I see on my For You page are storytelling ones where they'll say, this happened, then this happened, then this happened. And then they'll say, oh, like for part two, like and follow for part two. And people want to know what happens next, so they will. So that's definitely a way to do it. My third tip is the amount that you post, or you could just call it consistency. Be consistent. This is one of the ones when I was researching how to blow up on TikTok, because I did my research before I made this. Lip gloss check. How much should you be posting? Definitely post every day, at least once every day. You need to show the algorithm that you are posting consistently and that you are online. TikTok wants to keep people on the platform for as long as possible. So even if it's keeping you on there for as long as possible, it will continue 
to boost your videos. What a lot of people say is three to five times a day. Now, this can be quite challenging if you have a job or just generally because it is a lot of videos. If you're going for the maximum, that's five times seven. That's they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would 35 that is a lot of videos to produce in one week and that is quite demanding i don't feel like you have to do five but if you're having one day where you're really productive you can post five if you're having one day where you're not so productive you can post one or two or one on sundays i post one because i can't be bothered to post anymore but throughout the week i'll be posting three normally i aim for three you want to make sure that that content is quality and quantity it sounds bad but when you're starting out it's more about quantity because people will see your video be like mm. check your page if you have no videos on there people aren't going to follow you they'll be like oh, they're brand new whatever occasionally yeah one video will blow up and everyone will follow that person but more often than not they want to see that you are consistent as i said at least once a day try for three times a day it's hard to create content however i create about 20 videos in one day i have two content days a week but you could easily do 15 videos one day 15 videos the other day or you could just do 30 all in one day it's completely up to you and then you have a bank and you don't even have to shoot on the day you can just post whatever and it's easy yeah my fourth tip is timing so i've again researched this and this is where i kind of disagree with a lot of the research that's out there so you know i'm different so uh a lot of the research out there says to post at your peak time which is normally 7 to 10 o'clock on an evening in your time zone this is not the case for me if i post at that time i will get i don't know like 500 views it's it's never worked out for me because so many people are online at that time and posting at that time your video doesn't even get the light of day i post between two and five so it's three hours before everyone is online which means that it can gain some traction while no one is online and then when people are online it blows up and that has happened with all of my big videos all my other videos that i've posted at the peak times have flopped but the ones i've posted at 233 they've all got like 500,000 views can i get a wall whoa this is something that you will have to try out though because obviously each following is different i would recommend maybe the first week of you trying to blow up post three to five times a day and maybe post 12 till 7 at an hour and a half intervals and just see which one gets the most attention because that way you will know what kind of time to post and change it every day just to see and then by trial and error come up with a plan and like a definition of when to post and it will just work for you honestly works for me my fifth tip is hashtag do not and I repeat, do not use the For You page or FYP hashtag. It is super saturated. Yes, some will get on the For You page, but the majority will not because it doesn't work like that. Only way that hashtags work is when people search them. And yeah, it's just not gonna, yeah, it just won't work. It really won't. I used to use For You page hashtags every day last year or every time I posted last year. I stopped using them this year and I've gained 70,000 followers honestly seriously don't use them <laughs> no it's true it's use hashtags related to your niche so my self-love hashtags are body acceptance self-love those kind of things but i don't use any that aren't related to my niche but also the amount of hashtags you don't want to be using more than five hashtags i go for four but i would say you want to be using three to six hashtags that's about it that's literally it you don't want to be going over six because then it will just won't pick it up my number seven and this sounds a bit weird comment and like your video i always thought no i'm not doing that like who, do, who likes their own video comments on their own video that's so weird but since i started doing it my videos have blown up be the first person to like and comment on your video your comment doesn't have to be like oh my god this is amazing because it would be weird if you were saying that to yourself well i mean it wouldn't hype yourself up queen but like yeah 
my comment on my video is a question it will be like so what's everyone's favorite color today it's so mundane but it works it also drives engagement so more people are likely to comment on your video this brings me to the next one which is ask a question either on the comment which i do or in your caption be like am i wrong for thinking this or i look good in this don't i or doesn't this dress look bomb on me question mark or like what was your favorite food or just a random question if you can't think of anything people will see it read it and comment in your comments that tells the algorithm that people are staying on your content for longer and it will boost your video promise She's got a point, she's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Period. Period. My final one, and to be honest, you can get a viral video, but you don't get followers. I know so many videos, I see them on my feed page, and I will look at their account, and I'll be like, they only have 102 followers, but their video has got a million likes. How, how did that happen? Like, how did they not get more followers from that? Call to action. <laughs> It's the one thing people forget. You need to transfer those likes into followers. I just don't know why people aren't doing this. When I saw this, it made so much more sense and it, it's worked for me. So my ratio is actually very good. So I have something like 500,000 likes and 70,000 followers, which is a very good ratio. A lot of people have like 2 million likes, but 10,000 followers. That's not a good ratio. You're not converting your likes to followers. How do you do this? I hear you ask. You need a call to action. Call to action is basically saying, follow me, essentially. If you're like, oh, follow me. People aren't just going to follow you. That's not how it works. People are like, oh my God, no, I'm definitely not following her. So you've got to be creative with how you do it. For instance, mine are, oh, this insecure girl feeling bad i do the storytelling thing blah, 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 and then finds my page and then i'm there like ah hyping you up woo, woo, woo. and then the next thing i say is after they followed me this is how they feel or whatever it works it really does work so i will show you my video now As you can see in that video, it's a very simple video. It took me three minutes, not even that to make, like literally less than three minutes because it's a 15 second video, probably a minute to make. And that video got 100,000 plus likes, 500,000 views, and it got me a shitload of followers. I think it got me 50,000 followers because there was a call to action. Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? You need to give your followers something in return. So a lot of those girls probably went on my page, saw my stuff, realised that I actually was really self-love and helping them and I was bu myth-busting their insecurities with my Normalising X series and stuff. And they were like, oh damn, she actually does what she says she does. You can't just say, follow me, as I said. You need to say, I do this. This is what I can give you. This is why you should follow me. And they will. So it's definitely about showing people what you have to offer and translating that into a call to action if that makes sense yes i did that and you would do it too for a check i was an employee and i was gonna get employee of the month and that's on period but yeah honestly the other thing is repeat content if you had a video which blew up repeat it don't post the video that you was saved to your account because tiktok will know that it was made in tiktok and it won't blow up again but if you recreate the exact same thing it will blow up again i've done this before and it works honestly those are my tips if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next week for another vlog